it's the morning again and we're on the dinghy and we're just stopping off at this part which I threw here which might have gone a bit higher this time although if it's gone down the side which is oh no it's over there so it's not quite where we wanted it but we're going to move it uh, we just come to get it here because obviously there's a lot of weed here and it's just easier to pick it up as we go to go to the big boat so we'll take this with us and we'll shove it a little bit further out onto another spot because this pot's not really meant to be here. I mean, I let it soak here and I just haven't really got around to doing anything with it. There it is. And it's got a lobster, there you go. Because we're going to move it, you see. <laughs> right, we're going to go to the big boat with this anyway. And uh, we'll catch up with you when we get there. we're on the boat again now there's a bit of a swell out there you can hear it rolling you can't really see it at the moment because the tide's down but yesterday there was quite a heavy swell hopefully it'll drop out a little bit because swell's always a real pain over the reefs so as you saw when we came in there was a uh, lobster in that first pot so that's good um, well in size yeah easily easily well over the size limit so first lobster of the morning not bad considering we haven't even started yet really <laughs> we just thought we'd bring this we're going to take this out with us anyway and it was a bit bit near the uh weed right i'm just going to get set up and uh we'll catch up with you out there i'm just going to check the uh pocket pot well that's in a good spot there look at it we dropped it right down in that weed <laughs> although it's a little far out from the rock going to move it close to the rock now because the tides are getting a bit smaller so. Ooh, not a bad little crab in there really mm. little brown crab but that's it for this pot this morning and another tiny one over there Did well to get in that neck He's got, I was going to say, what you don't grab the rope and they lock on. Yeah, she, she has a nice hard shell though. Yeah. If that was a big one, that would be a lovely crab for uh, eating, but it's not. Taking that slow to the bottom. You see how clear it is, whether it's too dark or not. I don't know, we'll find out later. And down again. And the, the crabby has landed. This one's going the quick way, look trying to swim <laughs> that one's going to go onto the weed look you see how light they are it can walk over that floating weed fish around the rocks a little bit and I've got a little bass what a big lure Nice fish. Nice fish. Yeah, that's a good size one. That's got to be a forty seven. In a moment. Nice. Okay, as opposed to one pot, you know, on a line. in there. 
again. Look at it. Look at that. My goodness. Wow. Again. That's a big old male in there. Wow. Right. Wow. Worth coming down. It wasn't looking too promising at first though, was it, with the other part? Look at that! Look at them claws <laughs> Look at on the claw. it! Oh. Wow, we're getting some biggies, real biggies. Wow, well, I'm going to put that in there, even yeah. though there's mackerel in there. Look at Look it! Look at the claw, I mean, how could he live with a claw like that? Oh, wait till you see a real big one. I mean, that's big, but... Crikey! Yes! Right, I so mean, have a look at the others and... I'm going to say that, the, look at the claw is... Yeah. What's up, 14? We'll have a look at him in a minute because we've got tides picking up speed and we need to get these back. So as you let them go and then they drift miles back and where you put them. <clears throat> I think I put this pot in the right place. Another one? Yes. <clears throat> Two big ones, you see? Real big ones. We'll put that one down the floor for now. And then there's even another one. Yeah, which is tiny in comparison. Tiny, but that's still a big lobster. Yeah. Let's have a look at that one. Tiny look. <laughs> compared. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's well oversized. Right. How are we for baiting that one? Don't tell me. In the middle of nowhere, but look, there's a, I don't know if you can see that, there's a seal right by us. And yet, we're just sort of nowhere near the rocks really, we're miles out. He's just chilling. Is that what you're doing? You got any freebies? I'm afraid not, mate. Not today. Fishing's not full of mackerel and that. <laughs> he could also be one of the ones they've released that's got a bit humanised. Possibly. Is it one of the giant mackerel? This is the giant mackerel spot, you know? This is where you get the two pounders. Sometimes. You know, they haven't shown much lately in the last few years. There's been some big ones there. Is it going to be the two pounder? Well, it's half decent. Decent. No two pounder, but it's a decent one. It'll be right in the box for those big ones. Look at that. Well, they used to. the size of that beauty yeah. lovely yeah, nice. they're really nice to eat and they don't go back well either the pressure gets them yeah. it's about to run into the reefs and i've hooked this <laughs> there's a big one right i'm gonna <coughs> get back up I didn't have time to put the camera on for this one because I had to get it clear of the reef otherwise I'd have lost a lot into the rocks so. but there it is
Pollock of the Year so far. Blown, blown it. Yeah. Very yeah. nice. It's a belt of that one. It certainly is. <laughs> Best one of the, year, what, the year, I think, isn't it? Yeah, I'd okay. say so, definitely. Yeah. Prime condition as well, look at it. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. It's a reef pollock. Like Rebecca said before, so often on the if you go for a rex nut, they get very wormy inside under the yeah, skin, whereas do. the reef pollock are nice and clean quite often. Plump looking yeah. and prime condition. Prime condition. Biggest, but I don't know what those are 42, 43, 44, oh, no. yeah. 40, something like that. Something like that. Right, let's see. Let's see if this works. Not really the best time of year for it because there's been a lot of potting going on, obviously. But see, the spot here is either just there or just over there. Did we get it down the side? That's the other thing. Because if it tipped on the rock, that wouldn't have been good either. Looks like you've got a big one in there by the weight of that rope. Oof, straining that rope. What did I say? Yep. <laughs> I don't know if it's quite big enough, but we got one, and I did say we'd get them. It's all about the positioning. Getting them just in the right spot. You throw as many pots as you like out, but if you don't get them in the right places. Yep, size. Legal. Brilliant. Start. We'll do it. We'll do it again. Look at that. A hey, less than 24. What's that? About 16 hours. Yeah. Lobster. Right. I'm gonna try and get it back. It's all all about the positioning of this thing. Like I say you can put as many pots as you like. If you don't get them in the right spot, you won't catch any of them. Right. Uh, let me just check my depths. Good. So there is a rock it comes up the side obviously. And that should be about right, somewhere there. Okay. Enough as well. Just pulling this uh, ink well pot in the wind. It's the single one we got here. Catches occasionally, not that often, but occasionally. Maybe today is an occasional day.
Yay, it's an occasional day. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's size though. It's probably one of those just on the block. Gonna get your gauge on it. It's legal. There you go, see? Right. Da 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 there. Yep. Alright, we better get this. It'll be right till tomorrow, we'll bake it tomorrow. We did actually drop that right off the edge yesterday because I said eh, it dropped. We just plonked it down and there it was. Right off the edge. Just drop it there, that'll do. I'm gonna bait it again tomorrow anyway. Day done and dusted. Okay. Bring the boat right in up the top on the slip instead of having to walk all the way up the beach. Makes a change.